Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Lois for those of you who don't know me. If it's your first time here, then warm and welcome to you. And for my returning subscribers, my G's, my day ones. Thank you for coming back to spend some time with your girl to see what I've got in store for you today. Now guys, today I've got an unusual video. It's a cooking one. It's an unusual one. I know, I know, I know. Only because you guys pressure me into it. Lois, can we have some cooking videos? Can we have some cooking? So I have listened to you. I have succumbed to pit pressure and I'm going to do a little bit of cooking in the kitchen today. But we're not going to be in there all day because um, I'm actually going to be preparing my meals by an air fryer. Which you know with air fryers, it's um, half the time and you know, you can get things done pretty quickly. So I'm going to be doing like a full English breakfast or as, as much of a full English as you can get. And also I want to be doing my evening meals a little bit earlier in the day because I've got so much things to do today. I've got to go out to the post office. I've got to drop off some parcels. I've also got a couple of meetings and some errands to run. So there's a lot going on today. So let me show you the air fryer that I'm going to use. Now I have been kindly gifted this double basket air fryer. It's a dual air fryer by Altumnik. So this is the air fryer. And let me show you the box and show you all the things that this can do. So this is the box. And just on the front, it tells you little things such as it does chicken. It also does um, vegetables. You can bake in it so you can get cakes as well. Also, it does fish. It dehydrates your vegetables or your fruits. And also, you can do chips in there as well. So it says half the time, double the taste. So, guys, yeah. So let me probably spin you around and I'll show you the air fryer properly so you can see it properly and everything. So here we've got the air fryer, as you can see, and let's just have a quick look around so we can understand what is what and what it, how it works. So you've got your double air baskets, you've got your left and you've got your right, and they're quite big baskets, a 7.6 litre capacity. And if you open the baskets, you can see that's how big they are, they're quite big. Also, the grill part inside, the tray, can actually come out. That's where if you want to do your air frying, you'd have your grill trays in there. Same thing on this side as well. Make sure it's shut. Also, I'm going to switch it on for you as well, just so you can see what a display looks like and how it lights up. So you've got your left side, which operates everything happening on the left side of the basket. And you've also got your right side, and you've got where it says R for your right, where everything happens on here. So on this side, the two arrows that controls your temperature so for example if you want 200 or you want to make it higher or lower it controls that for your left so let's say on the left that's how you control that or if you want to control the time you do that as well on this side so this is your um, temperature and this is your time for the right side if you wanted to op sorry for the left side if you want to operate the right side you'd click R for right and it would operate the right side so right guys, I am hungry. I'm going to make my breakfast. So I'm going to start by making a full English in the air fryer and I'm going to make them in both baskets. So let's see how we get on with this. So guys, we're ready to make a start. I've washed out my basket. So make sure when you get a new utensil, you wash your basket. Make sure you wash it and dry it properly before your first use. And I've also washed my hands so we're nice and ready to get going. Right, so here I've got some eggs and this has been beaten up. Um, to make scrambled eggs. I've also got some milk in here as well. I'm also going to season that, but I'll do that in a minute. In the meantime, I've put some butter inside this tray to actually melt because we want the melted butter to go in there first before the scrambled eggs. And I've actually taken out the tray with that one because I don't want, obviously, the eggs to be on a flat surface, not in here. And in this one, we're going to have our sausages and our bacon because I've got some thick back bacon here and also some Irish sausages to go in as well. So before we do the egg, because the egg is going to take a shorter time, let's do the meat first, the sausages. So we've got our sausages and I'm going to cut a couple of them, some for myself and some for the girls. So 
So we're gonna place our sausages in the bowl, or in the basket, should I say. So as you can see, the sausages are actually in the basket there. And I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room for the bacon, but I'll try and put the bacon in there as well. Only, only, I'm the only one having bacon. The girls don't want any bacon. So that's just me. So let's put that in there. And in you go. So now here comes the test, guys. Here's come the test. So we switch it on. And with our left basket, that's got the eggs, the left basket. So we're going to set the eggs for... I would say at 170, yeah, 170, and we're gonna set it for, I think it's, uh, let's say seven minutes. Actually, let's say 10, to be on the safe side, because we don't want underdone eggs. So let's move across to the right basket, and that's got our sausages. So in there, we want it to be at, again, 170. Guys, I always tend to go under for sausages because I don't like my things too crispy charred, but I like it well done, but not crispy charred. So in terms of like time, let's leave it at 20 minutes. So now we've got both baskets set up. Let's also press uh, to end it together. And then we press play. And it, guys, it works. So if you see here, it says hold. So it's actually holding this basket and it's going to do the sausages. But what I'm going to do, we're going to check on it and then, you know, so halfway through, I'm probably going to look at it maybe about 10 minutes in just to make sure we can turn the, sus 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 turn the sausages and the bacon over. So, yeah. So you can hear the machine is going, guys. And we're down to 12 minutes on here. So I'm going to actually pull this basket out. As you can see, that's still on hold. So I'm going to pull this basket out and see um, what's going on inside the basket. Oh, looking lovely. So I'm going to give the sausages a quick turn. The bacon looks like it's practically done, actually. So I'm going to give the sausages a quick turn. Give the bacon a little bit of a quick turn as well but i think the bacon is going to come out a lot sooner than the um sausages to be honest with you but let's see what happens so i'm going to put it back in and as you see it just carries on as normal i don't need to do anything other than just check it and put it back in right now as you can see both chambers have ended together although i had to then go in and give the scrambled eggs a little bit longer I don't think I turned it high enough for the scrambled eggs, but let's see the final result of the scrambled eggs. Let's just give it a bit of a turn. Yes, that's nice. Nice, well done scrambled eggs. I'm going to pop that on the plate and I'll show you what it looks like. So that's the scrambled eggs and let's now see the sausages and the bacon so lovely look properly well done she properly well done can you see it and all the oil has dripped to the bottom so i'm just going to plate it up and show you what it looks like as you can see in my air fryer this is my breakfast. Beautiful scrambled eggs. If we turn it a little bit, bacon, nicely done. Sausages done per to perfection. And on the side, I just garnished it with some avocado and some tomatoes. And that's my breakfast. Oh, there's my sausage there, guys. <laughs> I'll take some pictures so you can see it properly.
So, the time now is 10 past 6. Um, my day's gone a bit upside down. I had to actually literally rush out after breakfast. And um, yeah, but I must say I really enjoyed my full English. It set me up for the day, I tell you. Kept me on the move. And now I do have a couple of meetings this evening, but I figured it makes sense to cook my dinner now. And then at least when I come off my Zoom call, I can then eat. So I've got a little bit of time just to try and prepare my evening meal. Now what I'm going to have is like a type of peri-peri chicken. And I'm also going to have it with some um, vegetables. So if I turn the camera around, then I can show you the things that I've prepared and how I'm going to cook it in the air fryer. So this morning before I rushed out, um, I actually prepared my meat in advance. So I had my, my chicken thighs soaking in some brine, which brine is basically like um, salted water, just so it keeps its moistness when it goes into an air fryer. And that's how you get tender, juicy thighs. So I seasoned my thighs this morning before I went out. It's been marinating ever since, and that's what I like. I like to leave my meat seasoned um, and marinated. So that's what I've done. So the meat is here ready. And what I'm gonna do is put together my vegetables. So I'm gonna have some vegetables with it. And what I've done basically, I've chopped up some sweet potato, um, some mushrooms, red peppers, and red onions. So that's what's gonna go in there. I'm gonna season these and then they can actually go in the air fryer as well. So what I like to do also is put some oil all over it as well. Also I like to put a little bit of onion powder. And guys, don't be, don't be mean, don't be, don't be mean. Be generous with your powder. Garlic, always got to have garlic. Also, I've got this, um, this is the roasted vegetables um, mix for your air fryer as well. So a little bit of that over it. And basically it's a whole load of different herbs. In it. So let me just mix that all together. Also put a bit of cracked salt on it as well. Just a little bit of salt, not too much. And also a little bit of paprika as well. Well, when I say a little, my hand is heavy, I pour. <laughs> I like my food spicy, guys. I like my food spicy. So, that's what it looks like. By the time you season up everything together, you mix it with your oil, that's what it looks like. A lovely array of colours and so healthy for you as well. I don't think I'm going to fit them all in. So probably what I'm going to do is just do a portion for myself. And then I might do my daughter's portion later on. So I'll leave that for the girls and they can have their portion later on. Also, I'm going to put in there two um, corn on a cob. So I'll just put two of those in there as well. And I'm going to spray the corn on a cob. Just a little bit of spray in there so that's that one and then I'm going to put the meat let's just give it another stir so as you can see I've seasoned my thighs and they're seasoned and basically what I use to season those season those are um, things like onion salt garlic uh, chicken seasoning peri peri all purpose those sort of things so maybe if I show you that would be easier peri peri um some ginger and garlic duns river definitely got to have your olive oil in there as well and garlic and pepper and salt sorry you can't see me guys very bad angle but next we're going to put the chicken in here now what i've done i've actually taken the gray gray the grill tray out as well because what i find is if i'm doing like wings or whatever and i want it really dry I'll then put the grill pan in the bottom. But with my thighs, I want them quite moist. So therefore I don't mind them sitting directly in the pan like this and keep them quite moist. So I've taken that bit out of there and I'm gonna put my thighs in there straight away. Now I am putting it um, skin side up. 
and I can fit, I think I can fit four in here actually, four quite big size thighs. I probably can get five in there, but I think I'm going to do four for now. Or should I do five? No, I'll do four. Yeah, I'll do four. So as you can see, there's four in there. Can you see that's right? Yeah, there's four in there. I can actually put another one in there, guys. I'm not going to. Right. So let's turn it on. So it's your on button. And what I really found was really quick and easy. Washing up is quick and easy. Quick wash up in soapy hot water. Dry it off straight away, straight back in. So it's really, really straightforward. So left is my chicken. And I'm going to press the chicken function. And for chicken, it says um, 200 um, centigrade for 25 minutes. I'm going to take it down to 180 because, as I said, I don't like really, really um, well done chicken. I like it well done, but not burnt to a char. I don't do burnt to a char. So I'm going to take it down to 180, 185. And then uh, that's okay. So that's the chicken at 185 for 25 minutes. And then in tray two, which is the right hand side, I've got the vegetables. So I'm going to press the vegetable setting and it says 160 for 16 minutes. So I'm gonna trust that and let's see what happens. <laughs> so then all I do is I press the sync button, start, and as you can see again, this side has been held until it was gonna catch up with this one. So we'll pop back and see what happens halfway through the cooking. So let's have another look halfway through because they're both clocked in now. The left is now synced in with the right. So let's see what the meat is doing and see if we need to turn it over. So let me open it. Guys, look at that. Look at that. Let me get my... Um... Let's turn it over. And that's why I said I like to cook it in, in the juice, really. And that keeps it moist. As you can see, it's really moist. But you do have to turn it over. Sorry about the angles of the camera. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm trying my best to do it one-handed while filming at the same time. Making a little bit of a pig's ear of it. But, yeah. Let's just do this last piece. Turn that over. And, actually, what I may do as well is just spray a little bit of oil on that side as well just to keep it moist i do like it moist i don't like um dryness i really don't let's put it back in and as you can see it started so i wonder if we should have a look at the no vegetables have only been in for literally five minutes so, so guys we're in the last few minutes of um the food I've had to extend it by three minutes, four minutes, because they weren't quite done yet, not to the way I like it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some jerk seasoning sauce onto the meat, and I'm going to open my drawer. As you can see, look, look how lovely they look. Lovely and brown. So just baste it a little bit. And what I also do is I baste the the actual chicken with the barbecue sauce and also any of the juice that's in the bottom that's good gravy guys that's good gravy you baste that in with the juice as well and you just spread it all over the chicken and there you go and that's what it actually looks like once you've actually basted it can you see so let that go back in for that time and let's just check the vegetables and again let's give it a final stir the actual sweet corn is done we'll just give the vegetables a final stir and we should be home and dry in a few minutes guys so the air fryer has finally finished ta-da end end both baskets have ended both meals are cooked i hope so let's have a quick look and let's see what the final result is. Look at that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Now also as well guys, you've actually got some gravy in the bottom because by the time I base it and everything, 
That is so nice. Now let me do a probe check. Can you see it there? If I do a probe check, because the internal temperature of a chicken thigh should be uh, one, is it 165 or 65? 65 I think it is guys. But let me put the probe in and I'll tell you. Yep, that's coming in at 83, 84, which I like all my chickens to be in the 80. I just, that's just, I just like to know it's well done. 82 on that one. This one is 83. And this one is 82, 81. So all done. Right, let's leave that there. And let's now look at the vegetables. They look lovely. Guys, I have plated up and here is my dinner. Corn on a cob, peri peri chicken with some barbecue sauce on top and my roasted vegetables. How nice. Now, I'm going to have to taste. Sorry, I'm just going to do it with my finger. I'm going to have to taste it. Mmm, absolute perfection. Sweet potato perfection. Really nice. So if the sweet potato is done, that means the rest of it is absolutely fine. So let me hover over so you can get a proper picture. And then you can see what it looks like. But it tastes amazing, amazing. <laughs> Right guys, I'm back and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the um, cooking with me um, using my dual basket air fryer. Um, it is such a lovely gift to receive and I was, to be honest with you, it's my first time ever using a dual basket um, air fryer. Now, I've, like I said, I've used a single basket before, but this was so easy. It Once you understood your left and your right, it was so easy to use, straightforward to program, and you also had your presets. So I found it really, really easy. What I loved about it was the sync technology, the fact that you could sync it up together and one basket actually waits for the other basket. That blew my mind. And to me, I'm, I'm slightly impatient sometimes about waiting for this, waiting for that. So I always tend to time my dinners to, to work together. But this is no effort because once you just sync that button together, two baskets kicking. Absolutely, I loved it, I loved it. And to be honest with you, I'm actually gonna use it again tonight. Um, because yeah, it was just so easy. It was so, so easy when I had my meals yesterday, but I am gonna use it again tonight. I mean, even when I gave my daughters um, their dinner, they were like, mum, this is nice. What did you cook it in? I said, no, I didn't cook it in my ever air fryer. This was the brand new dual basket. And the good thing about it is that you can set it on for each person and they can set their own meals and do it when they wanna, because we eat all different times sometimes. I mean, sometimes we eat together, but if you're eating separately or you just want to do one portion for yourself, a complete meal, it's no hassle. It's a no brainer, no trouble at all. I love it. I really love it. And I'm not just saying it, guys. Um, I actually really, really like it. And I love the fact that it wasn't a lot of effort. It wasn't a lot of effort. Once you've prepared your, your, your meal, whatever it is you want to eat, and you put it in a basket, it's a done deal. So if you like the air fryer or you like the look of it, guys, you can get it for under a hundred pounds. Um, but you can get it if you click on the link below. I'm gonna put a link below for you in the description box. And if you use my discount code, um, and I'll put it along the screen. If you use my discount code, that will get you 60 pounds off the dual basket air fryer. And that takes it down to 99.99. Guys, is that a bus? Is that a basket? <laughs> Is that a bargain for a double basket air fryer with all the digital technology on it? I don't, I don't you can't go wrong. I, I really, I honestly, my honest opinion, I really, really like it. I really like it. And you know, I'm a bit of a gadget person when it comes to like kitchen stuff. If it's naff, I'll tell you it's naff. But guys, I really enjoyed using it. Really enjoyed using it. And the fact that my daughters were like, chef kiss to the meal. Um, yeah, what I'll do also, if you want the recipe of what I did for the chicken and the evening meal, I can put that below for you. I mean, the, the English breakfast, pretty much straightforward. But in terms of like what I put on the chicken and also the way I did the um, 
roasted vegetables i can put the recipe down below for you and um guys if you want me to make more air fryer meals let me know and i know what you guys are gonna you're gonna, you're gonna say yes lois yes i know you're gonna say yes so yeah I, what i'll do i'll I am thinking of bringing more cooking to the channel anyway um, because you guys have been asking it for a very long time and now that I've got my double basket air fryer I will be doing more recipes in there you can bet so I hope you enjoyed that review and thank you so much to Old Tel Old Tel Nick I'll get the name right in a minute Old Tel Nick Old Tel Nick thank you so so much for gifting me this air basket air basket double air fryer basket guys I'm hungry. I need to eat. And I'm probably going to do something in the air fryer. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I'll see you all real soon. Don't forget to click and subscribe if you like the video and thumbs it up as well. See you all soon, guys. Take care. Bye. Oh, Tick said bye too. Because she wasn't really, she didn't feel included in this. Well, here you are, my dear. Steady on, girl. Steady on.